，嗯，好的，那就背诵第一课到第三十九课的内容，呃，我就用业余的零散的时间来背诵，嗯，抽不出整的时间啊，所以拼凑一下吧。好，第一个 lesson one a private conversation。Last week I went to a theater. I had very good seat. The play was very interesting. I did not enjoy it. A young man and a young woman were sitting behind me. They were talking loudly. I could not hear. I got very angry. I could not hear the actors. I turned around and looked at the man and the woman angrily. They did not pay any attention. In the end, I could not bear it. I turned around again. I can't hear a word. I said angrily, "It's none of your business." The young man said rudely, "This is a private conversation." Uh, Jacob went to. Why did the writer complain? Complain to the people beginning lesson two, breakfast or lunch? What? Why was the writer's end surprised? It was Sunday. I never get up early on Sundays. Last, I sometimes stay in bed until lunchtime. Last Sunday, I get up very late. I looked out of the window. There was dark outside. What a day! I thought it's raining again. Just then, a telephone rang. It was my aunt Lucy. I'm just arriving by train," she said. "I'm coming to see you, but I'm still having breakfast." I said. "What are you doing?" she asked. "I'm having breakfast," I repeated. "Dear me," she said. "Do you always get up so late? It's one o'clock." Lesson three. Please send me a card. How many cards did the writer send? Postcards always fall on my holidays. Last summer I went to Italy. I visited museums and I sat in public gardens. A friend in winter taught me a few words of Italian. Then he lent me a book. I read a few lines, but I did not read, did not understand a word. Every day I thought about postcards. I was thought about postcards. My heart did pass quickly, but I did not send cards to my friends. On the last day, I made a big decision. I got up early and bought thirty-seven cards. I spent the whole day in my room, but I did not write a single card. Lesson four. In that thing, in that thing. An、exciting trip! I have just received a letter from my brother Tim. He is in Australia. He has been there for six months. Tim is an engineer. He is working for a big firm, and he has already visited a, diff- a great number of different places in Australia. He has just bought an Australian car and has gone to Alice Springs, a small town in the center of Australia. He will soon f- visit Darwin. From there, he will fly to Perth. My brother has never been abroad before, so he's finding this trip very exciting. Lesson five: No wrong numbers. What does no wrong numbers mean? It was no wrong numbers mean. Mr. James Card has crash in Pinhurst, and now he has just bought another crash in Super. Oh, fun! Mr. James Card has crashed in Sudbury, and now he has just bought another crash in Pinhurst. Pinhurst is only five miles from Sudbury, but Mr. Card cannot get a telephone for his new crash, so he has just bought two pigeons. He has just bought two pigeons. Yesterday, a pigeon carried the first messages from from Pinhurst to Sudbury. The bird covered the distance in three minutes. In three minutes. After now, Mrs. Gardner has sent a great many requests for spare parts and other urgent messages from one branch to the other. To the other. In this way, he has begun his own private telephone service. Lesson six. Percy Buttons. Who is Percy Buttons? I've just moved to a house in Bridge Street. Yesterday, a finger knocked at my door and asked me for a meal and a glass of beer. Well, in return for this. The banker stood on his head and sang songs. I gave him a meal. He ate the food and drank the beer. Then he put a piece of cheese in his pocket and went away. Later, neighbor told me about him. His name is Percy Button. Ever, everybody knows him. His name is Percy Buttons. He calls at every house in the street once a month and asks for a meal and a glass of beer.、Mm. <clears throat> Lesson. Lesson seven. Too late. Did the detective save the, save the bank diamonds? The plane was late, and the detectives were waiting at the airport all morning. They were expecting a valuable parcel of diamonds from South Africa. 
A few hours earlier, someone had told the police that thieves will try to steal the diamonds. Will try to steal the diamonds. When the plane arrived, some of the detectives were waiting inside the main building, and others were waiting on the air airfield. Two men took the parcel off the plane and carried it into the customer's house, while two detectives were keeping guard at the door. Two others opened the puzzle. To their surprise, the precious puzzle was full of stones and said, Lesson 8, the best and the worst. Why is Jones Garden the most beautiful one in the town? John Sanders had the most beautiful garden in our town. Nearly ever, everybody, everybody enters for their nicest garden competition each year, but Joe wins every time. Bill Friends Garden is larger than Joe's. Bill works harder than Joe and grows more flowers and vegetables. But Joe's garden is more interesting. He has made knee paths and has built a wooden bridge over a pool. I like gardens too, but I do not like hard work. Every year, I enter for the garden competition. Every year, I enter for the garden competition too. And I always win a little prize for the worst garden in the town. Lesson 9 cold worker. What was, what, what does a cold worker refer to? On Wednesday evening, we went to the town hall. It was the last day of the year and a large crowd of people had been gathered under the town hall clock. It, was, it would strike 12 in 20 minutes time. 15 minutes passed and then and 5 to 12, the clock stopped. The big minutes had did not move. We waited and waited, but nothing happened. Suddenly, someone shouted. It's two minutes past twelve. The clock stopped. The clock had stopped. I looked at my watch. It was true. The big clock refused to work on the new year. At that moment, everybody began to laugh and sing. Lesson 10. Not for jazz. What happened with the clap chord? We have no music, musical instrument. It is called clap chord. It was made in Germany in 1681. Our clam cord is kept in the living room. It has belonged to our family for a long time. The instrument was bought by my grandfather many years ago. Recently, it was damaged by a visitor. She tried to play jazz on it. She struck the key too hard and two of strings were broken. My father was shocked. Now we are not allowed to touch it. It is being repaired by a friend of my father's. Lesson 11. One good turn deserves one good turn deserves another. Who paid for Tony's dinner? I was having dinner at a restaurant when Tony Steele came in. Tony worked in a lawyer's office years ago, but he is now working at the bank. He gets good salary, but he always borrows money from his friends and never pays it back. Tony saw me and came and sat at the same table. He has never borrowed money from me. While he was eating, I asked him to lend me 20 pounds. To my surprise, he gave me the money immediately. I have never borrowed any money from you, Tony said. So now you can pay for my dinner. Lesson 12. Goodbye and good luck. Where is Captain Ellison going and how? Our neighbor, Captain Charles Ellison, will sail from Portsmouth tomorrow. We're meeting him at the harbor early in the morning. He will be in his small boat, Topsail. Topsail is a famous lead boat. He has sailed across the channel of the Atlantic many years ago, many times ago, many times. Captain Ellison was set out at 8 o'clock, so we will have plenty of time. We will see his boat and then we will say goodbye to him. He will be, he will be away for two months. We are very proud of him. He will take part in important, tr <coughs> in important, will take part in important race across the Atlantic. On lesson 13, the Greenwood Boys. Why will the police have a difficult time? <coughs> have a difficult time. The Greenwood Boys are a group of pop singers. At present, they are visiting all parts of the country. They will be arriving here tomorrow. Most of the young people in the town will be meeting them at the station. Tomorrow evening, they will, giving, they will be seen at the workers' club. 
the Greenwood Boys will be staying will be staying for five days. Staying here for five days. During that time, during this time, they will give five performances as usual. As usual, the police will have a difficult time. They will be trying to keep order. It is only the same on these occasions. Lesson Lesson 14. Do you speak English? Did the young man speak English? I had an amusing experience last year after I had left a small village in a small town of South France. I drove on to the next town. On the way, a young man waved to me. I stopped and he asked me for a lift. As soon as he had got into the car, I said good morning to him in French, and he replied in the same language. Apart from a few words, I did not know. I don't know any French at all. Neither of us, neither of us, spoke during the journey. I was, I had, nearly reached the town when the young man suddenly said, very slowly, "Do you speak English?" As I would, as I soon learned, he was English himself. Lesson fifteen. Good news. What was the good news? The secretary told me that Mr. Harms was to see me. I felt very nervous when I went into went into his office. He didn't look up from his desk when I entered. After I had sat down, he said that business was very bad. The firm could, he told me that the firm could not afford to pay such large salaries. Twenty people had already left. I knew that my turn had come, Mr. Hamsworth. I said in a weak voice, "Don't interrupt," he said. Then he smiled and told me, "I would receive an extra thousand pounds a year." Lesson sixteen. A polite request. What a, what was a polite request? If you park your car in the wrong place, a driver policeman will soon find it. You will be very lucky if he lets you go without ticket. However, it, it does not. It doesn't always happen. Traffic police are sometimes very polite. During holiday in Sweden, I found this note on my car. Sir, we welcome you to our city. <coughs> this is no parking area. If you pay your You were. You will enjoy your stay here if you pay attention to our screen size. This note is only a reminder. If you received a request like this, you cannot. You cannot fail to obey it. Lesson seven. Lesson seventeen. Always young. Why doesn't Aunt Jennifer tell anyone how old how old she is? My aunt Jennifer is an actress. She must be at least thirty-five years old. In spite of this, she always appears on the sta- on the stage as a young girl. Jennifer will have to take part in a new play soon. This time, she will be a girl of seventeen. In the play, she must appear in a bright red dress and long black stockings. Last year, in another play, she must appear on. She must. She must. She must. Oh, she had to wear short socks and a bright orange-colored dress. If anyone ever asks her how old she is, she always answers, "Darling, it must be terrible to be grown up. Grown up." Lesson eighteen. He often does this. What had happened to the, what had happened to the writer's bag? After I had had lunch at a village pub, I looked at my pub, at、uh, my bag. I had left it on a chair beside the door, and now it wasn't there. As I was looking for it, the landlord came in. "Did you have a meal?" he asked. "Yes, thank you," I answered. "But I can't pay the bill. I haven't got my bag." The landlord smiled and immediately went out. In a few minutes, he returned with my bag and gave it back to me. "I'm very sorry," he said. "My dog had taken it into the garden. He often does this."
Uh, lesson 19. So that when will the writer, when will the writer see the play? The play may begin at any moment, as I said. It may have begun already. Susan answered. I hurried to the ticket office. May I have two tickets, please? I asked. I'm sorry, we've sold out. The girl said. What a pity! Susan exclaimed. Just then, a man hurried to the ticket office. Can I return these two tickets? He asked. Certainly, the girl said. I went to the ticket office at once. Could I have those two tickets, please? I asked. The girl certainly, the girl said. But they are for next Wednesday's performance. Do you still want them? I might as well have them. I said sadly. Our lesson twenty. One man in the boat. Why is fishing the writer's favorite sport? Fishing is my favorite sport. I often fish for hours without catching anything. Some fishermen, but、uh, but this does not worry me. Some fishermen are unlucky. Instead of fish catching fish, they catch old boats and rubbish. I am even less lucky. I never catch anything, not even old boats. After having spent whole mornings on the river, I always go home with an empty bag. You must give up fishing, my friends say. It's a waste of time. But they don't realize one important thing. I'm not really interested in fishing. I'm only interested in sitting in the boat and doing nothing at all. Lesson twenty one: Mad or not? Why do people think the writer is mad? Airplanes are slowly driving me mad. Driving me mad. I live near an airport, and the passing plane can be heard, heard night and day. The airplane, the, the airplane, was built years ago, but for some reason, it it could not be used then. Last year, however, it came into use. Over a hundred people must must have been driving away from their homes by the noise. I'm one of the few people left. Sometimes I think this house will be knocked down by a passing plane. I have been I have been offered a large sum of money to go away, but I'm determined to stay here. Everybody says I must be mad, and they're probably right. Lesson twenty-two. A glass envelope. How did Jean received a letter from a stranger? My daughter Jean never dreamed of receiving a letter from a girl of her own age in Holland. Last last year, we were traveling, we were traveling across the channel, and Jean put a piece of paper with her name and address only into a bottle. She threw the bottle into the sea. She never thought of it again, but ten months ago, later, she received a letter from a girl in Holland. Both girls write to each other regularly now. However, they have decided to use the post office. Letters will cost will cost a little more, but they will certainly travel faster. Lesson twenty three: A new house. What was the new house special? I had a letter from my sister yesterday. She lived in Nigeria. In her letter, she said that she would come to England next year. If she comes, she will get a surprise. We are now living in a beautiful new house in the country. Work on it had begun before my sister left. The house has the the house was completed five months ago. In my letter, I told her that she could stay with us. The house has many large rooms, and there is a lovely garden. There is a very modern house, so it looks strange to some people. It must be the only modern house in the district. Lesson twenty-four. It could be worse. It could be worse. Had the writer's money been stolen? I entered the hotel manager's office and sat down. I had just lost fifty pounds, and I felt very upset. I left the money in my room. I said, "And it's not there now." The manager was sympathetic, but he could do nothing. Everyone is losing money, he said. He started to 
complain about this wicked world, but was interrupted by a knock at the door. A girl came in and put an envelope on his desk. It contained 50 pounds. I found this outside this gentleman's room, she said. Well, I said to the manager, there is still some honesty in this world. Uh, lesson 25. Do the English speak English? Why does the writer not understand the porter? I arrived in London at last. The railway station was big, warm, and big, black and dark. I did not know the way to my hotel, so I asked a porter. I not only spoke English very carefully, but very slowly, but very clearly as well. The porter, however, could not understand me. I repeated my question several times, and at last he understood. He answered, he answered me, but he spoke neither slowly nor clearly. I am a foreigner, I said. Then he said he spoke slowly, but I could not understand it. My teacher never spoke English like that. The porter and I looked at each other and smelled. Then he said something, and I understood it. You will soon learn English, he said. I wonder, in England, each person speaks a different language. The English understand the, the English understand each other, but I don't understand them. Do they speak English? Lesson 26. The best art critics. Who is the student's best critic? I am not a student, and I paint a lot of pictures. Many people pretend that they understand modern art. They always tell you what a picture is about. Of course, many pictures are about anything. Many pictures are not about anything. They are just pretty patterns. We like them in the same way that we like pretty curtain material. I think that young children often appreciate modern pictures better than anyone else. else. They notice more. My sister is only seven, but she always tells me whether my picture are good or not. He came into my room yesterday. What are you doing? She asked. I'm hanging this picture on the wall, I answered. It's a new one. Do you like it? He asked. He looked at it critically for a moment. It's all right? She said. She said. But isn't it upside down? I looked at it again. She was right, it was. Lesson 27. Lesson 27. One night. What happened to the boys in the night? Late in the afternoon, the boys pulled up their tent in the middle of the field. As soon as this was done, they cooked meal on they cooked meal over an open fire. They were all hungry and the food smelled good. After a wonderful meal, they told they told stories and sing songs by the campfire. But sometime later, it came. But sometime, sometime later, it began to rain. The boys felt tired, so they pulled out the fire and crept into their tent. Their sleeping bags were warm and comfortable, so they all slept soundly. In the middle of night. Two boys woke up and began shouting. The tent was full of water. They, they all leapt out of their sleeping bags and hurried outside. It was raining heavily, and they found that a stream had formed in a field. The stream wound its way across the field and flown, and then flowed right under their tent. Lesson 28. No parking. What what? What is Jasper White's problem? Jasper White is one of the, those rare people who believes in ancient myth. He has just bought a new house in the city. In the city. But ever since he moved in, he has had troubles with cars and their owners. He returns home at night. He always finds that someone had parked car outside his gate. In spite of this, he has not been able to get his own car into his garage even once. He has put up no parking signs outside his gate, but these have not had any effect. Now, 
He put Knocklin Stonehead on the gate. It is one of the ugliest faces I have ever seen. I asked him what it was, and he told me it was Medusa, the Gorgon. Jasper hopes that she will turn cards and their owners will stone, but none of them has been turned in stone yet. Lesson 29. Lesson 29. Lesson 29. 29. Taxi. Does Captain Forsyth think any trip is too dangerous? Captain Ben Forsyth has bought non your taxi and has begun a new series. The taxi is a small swings airplane called a Peter's Potter. This wonderful play can carry seven passengers. The most surprising thing about it, however, is that it can land anywhere on snow, water, or even on a plowing field. Captain Forsyth's first passenger was a doctor who flew from Birmingham to a lowland village in the Welsh mountains. Since then, Captain Forsyth has flown passengers to many unusual places. Once, he led on the floor of blocks of flats, and on another occasion, he led in a deserted car park. Captain Forsyth has just refused a strange request from a businessman. The, the man wanted to fly to Rocky Hall, wanted to fly Rocky Hall, a lowland island in the Atlantic Ocean, but Captain Forsyth did not take him because the trip was too dangerous. Oh, lesson 30. Football or polo? What happened to the man in the boat? What would happen? What happened? To man in the boat. The whale is a small village, a small river that passes across the park near my home. I like sitting by the whale on fine afternoons. It was warm last Sunday, so I went and sat on the river bank as usual. Some children were playing games on the river on the bank, and there were some people were rowing on the river. Suddenly. One of the children kicked the ball very hard and went toward a passing boat. Some people on the bank called out to the man in the boat, but he did not hear them. The ball struck him so hard that he nearly fell into the water. I turned to look at the children, but there weren't any in sight. They, were, they had all run away. The man left when he realized what had happened. He called, to, he called out to the children and threw the ball back to the bank. 嗯，好，呃，剩下的几课等到下午吧。嗯，该上班了。Lesson thirty-one, success story. Why was Frank's first job? Yesterday afternoon, Frank Hawkins was telling me about his his, his experiences as a young man. As a as a young man. Before he retired, Frank was the head of a very large business company. But as a boy, he used to he used to work in a small shop. It was his job to repair bicycles. At that time, he used to work fourteen hours a day. Fourteen hours a day. He saved money for years, and in fifteen. In 1958, he bought a small workshop. Small workshop. In his twenties, he used to a friend used to make spare parts for airplanes. At that time, he had two helpers. In a few years, the small workshop had become a large factory, which employed 728 people. Frank smiled when he realized, when he remembered his hard early years and the long, the long road to succeed, success. The long road to success. He was still smiling when the door opened and his wife came in. She asked, she wanted him to repair their grandson's bicycle. This lesson is very short. He saved money. He saved money. 
four years, and in 1958, he bought a small workshop of his own. Now, lesson 32. Shopping made easy. Shopping made easy. Who was the thief? People are not so honest as they once were. The temptation to steal is greater than ever before. A detective recently watched a well-dressed woman who always went into a large store on Monday mornings. One Monday, there were fewer people in the shop as usual. When the woman came in, so it was easier for the detective to watch her. The woman first bought a few uh, a few small articles. After a little time, she chose one of the most expensive dresses in the shop and handed it, hand, handed it to an assistant who wrapped it up for her as quickly as possible. Then the woman took the puzzle and went out of the shop without paying. When she was arrested, the detective found out that the shop assistant was her doctor. The girl gave her mother a free dress once a week. Lesson 33 out of the darkness. Why was the girl in hospital? Nearly a week passed before the girl passed. The girl was able to explain what had happened to her. One afternoon, he set out from the coast and in a small boat and was caught in a storm. Er, and towards evening, the boat struck the rock. The boat struck a rock and the girl jumped into uh, the sea. Then she swam to the shore after spending the whole night in the water. During that time, she covered a distance of eight miles. Early next morning, she saw a light ahead. She knew she was near the shore because the light was high up on cliffs. On arriving at the cliff at uh, uh, the shore, the girl struck up the cliff towards the light she had seen. That was all he rem she remembered. That was she remembered. She remembered. When she woke up a day later, she found herself in hospital. Lesson 34. Quick work. How long had the place taken to find his vessel? Ben Robinson has been worried all week. Last Tuesday, he received a letter from the local place. In the letter, she was asked for asked to call at the station. Ben was wondered why he was wanted by the place, but he went to the station yesterday, and now he is not worried anymore. At the station, he was told by a smiling people, a smiling policeman, that his vessel had been found. Five days ago, the police told him. The policeman told him. The bicycle was picked up in a small village 400 miles away. It is now it is now being sent to his home by train. Dan was one was most surprised when he when he heard the news. He was amused too because he never expected the bicycle to be found. It was stolen 20 years ago when Dan was a boy of 15. Lesson 35 35 35. Stop thief. How did Roy stop the thieves? Roy Chonton used to drive a taxi a short while ago. However, he became a bus driver and he has not regretted it. He is finding his new work far more exciting. When he was driving along Canfort Street recently, he saw two thieves run out, run out a uh, rushed out of a shop and ran towards a waiting car. One of them was carrying a bag full of, full of money. Roy acted quickly and he drove the bus straight at the thieves. One of the money, the one with the money, got such fright and she dropped the bag. And the thieves, and the thieves, was trying to get away in their car. Roy drove his bus into the back of it. While the battered the battered car moved away. Roy stopped his bus and stopped his bus and 
stop his bus and telephoned the police. The thief's car was badly damaged and easy to recognize. A short after short where after short words. Short shortly afterwards. Shortly afterwards, the the police stopped the car and two and both men were arrested. Less than thirty thirty six century less than thirty six across the channel across the channel. What is Debbie going to try to do? Debbie Hart is going is going to swim across the English Channel tomorrow. She is going to set out from the French coast at five o'clock in the morning. Debbie is only eleven years old and she hopes to set up a new world record. She is a strong swimmer and many people feel that she is sure to succeed. Debbie's father will set out with her in a small boat. Mr. Hart, Mr. Hart, Mr. Hart, Mr. Hart has trained his doctor for years. Tomorrow, he will be watching her anxiously as she swims the long distance to England. Debbie intends to take short rests every two hours. She will be have something to eat, uh, but she will not. She will not. She will not. She will not. She will not eat any solid food. Debbie's most of Debbie's school friend will will be waiting for her on English coast. On the English coast, M among them will be Debbie's mother. Will Debbie's mother, who swam across the channel herself when she was a girl, less than thirty-seven, 三十七克 The Olympic Games. When was the last time this country hosted the Olympic Games? The Olympic Games will be held in our country in four years' time, as a great many people will be visiting the country. We're visiting the country. The government will be building new hotels, a an maze stadium, at a new Olympic standard swimming pool. They will also be they will also be building new roads and. New roads and a special railway line. A railway line. The games will be held just outside the capital, and the whole the whole area will be will be called Olympic City. Olympic City. Workers will have a com com accomplished. Will have accomplished. 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 Have accomplished. Have accomplished. The、uh, new roads by the end of this year. By the end of next year, they will have finished work on the new stadium. The fantastic modern buildings have been designed by Kurt Gunter. By Kurt Gunter. Everybody will. Be watching anxiously. Anxiously, as the new buildings go up, we are all very sad and、uh, very sad and are looking forward to looking forward to looking forward to the Olympic Games because they have never held before in this, this country. Lesson thirty-eight. Except everything except the weather. Why did Why did Harrison sell his house so quickly? My old friend Harrison had lived in Mediterranean for many years before he returned to England. Or he returned to England. He had. Often dreamed of retiring in England, and had planned to settle down in the country. He had no sooner returned than he bought a house and went to live there. Almost immediately, he complained. He began. He started to complain about the weather. 
for even though it was still summer, it rained continually, and it was often bitterly cold. After so many years of sunshine, Harrison got a surprise, got a shock, got a shock. He acted as if he had never lived in, lived in. Lived in. He had lived in. He had lived in England before. Lived in English before. In the end, it is more than he could bear. He had hardly had had hardly had time to settle down. Settle down. When he sold the house and left the country, the dream he had had for so many years ended there. He Harrison had thought of everything except the weather. Do you call lesson thirty-nine? Am I all right? Am I all right? Why, Mister Gilbert? Telephone, Doctor Millington. While Mr. John Gilbert was in hospital, he asked his doctor to tell him whether his operation had been successful. But the doctor refused to do so. The following day, the patient asked for a precise telephone. When he was alone, he telephoned the hotel exchange and asked for Dr. Millington. When the doctor answered the phone, when the doctor answered the phone. Answered the phone. He answered the phone. He answered the phone. He said he was inquiring about a certain patient, a、uh, Mr. John Gilbert. She said she asked if she asked if Mr. Gilbert Gilbert's operation. Operation had been successful, and the doctor told him that it had been. He then asked them, asked when Mr. Gilbert would be allowed to go home, and the doctor told him that he would have to stay in hospital for another two weeks. Then the doctor asked the caller if he was a relative of. Relative of the patient. No, the patient answered, "I am Mr. John Gilbert." 嗯，好了，今天的一到三十九课的背诵就到这里，下期见，拜拜。